Hey, so here we have this next question for our discussion. This says that how is the drift velocity in a conductor affected with the rise in temperature? And this question is also for one mark. So let's see what you need to write down. Now, we know that the drift velocity is given by this formula that is E E tau by M where E is the charge on the electron, tau is the relaxation time, E is the electric field and M is the mass of the electron. Now, because of rise in the temperature, what is going to happen? The relaxation time is going to decrease. We know the relaxation time is the average time between the successive collisions. Due to rise in the temperature, there are going to be more collisions and hence this tau is going to decrease and as this drift velocity is directly proportional to this tau that is the relaxation time. So, the drift velocity is going to decrease. So, if you will write this in the exam, you are going to get the complete one mark for this particular question. I hope that is clear to you. Now, let us move on to the discussion for the next question. Hey, so it is our turn to take up the next question. So, here we have the first choice of question number 4. This says in sky wave mode of propagation, why is the frequency range of transmitting signals restricted to less than 30 megahertz? And this question is also for one mark. So, we all know that in the case of sky wave mode of propagation, the ionospheric layer of atmosphere act as a reflector for the range of frequency which are below than 30 megahertz. And all those electromagnetic waves which are having frequency higher than 30 megahertz are going to penetrate ionosphere and escape. And this is the reason why the transmitting signals are restricted to 30 megahertz. I hope this answer is clear to you. So, for this question again you are going to fetch one mark if you have written this answer in your solution. Let us have a look on to the second choice of the same question. Now, let us take up the next choice for this question. So, this says on what factors does the range of coverage in ground wave propagation depends. And we all know that it depends on the transmitted power and the frequency of signals and you are going to get half mark for each of these factors. So, this is how you will get one mark for this question if you have taken this question from this choice. So, I hope this is also very clear to you. Let us move on to the discussion for the next question. So, it is our turn to pick up the next question for our discussion that is question number 5. This question wants you to draw a pattern of electric field lines when a point charge plus Q is kept near an uncharged conducting plate and this question also hold one mark. So, this is what is expected from you to draw. So, this is a positive charge and you can see here that from the positive charge electric field lines are going to originate. Okay? So, electric field lines are originating from this positive charge. Now, this positive charge is placed near this conducting plate. So, on this conducting plate these field lines will be intersecting and they will be intersecting it perpendicularly. Okay? Now, this is how they are emerging out of this conducting plate. You can clearly see here I have not drawn any electric field lines inside this conducting plate because we know that the inside any conductor electric field is 0. Now, this region of the plate that is close to this positive charge, the negative charge will induce in this region and the positive charge will induce in this region. So, this is how you need to draw this diagram and for this you are going to score one mark. Now, I hope this discussion is clear to you. Let us move on to the discussion for the next question.